Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, William? Good? I'm fine, yes. Perfect. Very good. How was Father's Day? It was great. It was great, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Hello, Johnny. Hello, Jorge. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Perfect. I'm fine. Me así con sueño. I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. Hello, Claudia, Sonia, Karen. Hello. 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 So we're going to work here. We're going to practice. Yesterday we were practicing places, right? Do you remember? Mamma mia. Well, okay, very good. So we were working yesterday with places. Who remembers the pronunciation of these places? We have the places there. Vamos a empezar a recordar eh, la pronunciación de, de, de estos lugares. Okay? And also the pronunciation of the, the things that you can get in the different places, right? We have aspirin, for example, and the aspirin goes with what? What's the name? Yes. You remember? Yes. Hello, are you there? Dog store. No, no. Drug store, very good, Jorge, drug store. Very good. So we have there the different places, yes. right? So I need somebody to help me with the pronunciation, right? Who wants to try with the pronunciation of this? Uh-huh. Nobody? Hey, teacher. Okay, let's go with it. Only this, the one by eight. Yes, one to eight, exactly. Okay. Aspirin, uh -huh. bread, a dictionary, Gasoline, a sandwich, stamps, a suit, traveler's checks. Okay, very good. A suit, a, a suit, suit. Okay. a suit okay. and traveler's check. No worry, I forget suit. almost all the time. Okay. Okay, very good. So let's see here. Who wants to help me with the places? Another person? I have places here, here and here. Who wants to help me? Me, teacher. Okay, very good, Karen. Thank you. Let's go. Let's start. Number, no, letter A. Okay. Uh, a post office. Mm -hmm. a, a drugstore. Uh, a gas station. Okay. A department store. Mm -hmm. A bank. A bookstore. A coffee shop. A supermarket. In a supermarket. Okay, very good. Give me an example of a post office in El Salvador. A post office in is Salvador. like mm -hmm. in El Salvador is like mm, Urbano Express. Okay, very good. Like Urbano Express, very good. Now, everyone, let's think about places. Give me an example of a drugstore in El Salvador. Or in San Salvador, if you want. What is an example of a drugstore? Can be Laboratorios mm -hmm. Lopez. Okay, it can be Laboratorios yeah. Lopez. Okay, very good. Okay. But that one is the laboratory where you oh, okay. where you made the pills and everything and the medications, oh, okay. right? Okay. That's okay. like like uh, another word, but that's good, right? Laboratory, right? Drugs laboratory. So that we have Laboratorio Lopez. So what would be another example of a drugstore? San Nicolás. San Nicolás, okay, very good. Very good. What about a gas station? You don't know gas stations? Exactly. Puma. Exactly. Taco, Puma, okay, very good. A department store. Um, very good. 
Very good. See, man, that's a department store. You get clothing, you get perfume, you get cell phones, you get everything in a department store. Very good. What about a bank? City. City bank. Okay, very good. City bank, bank. That's the name. City bank, bank. Bien raro el nombre. Then a bookstore. <laughs> a bookstore. La Ceiba. La Ceiba, very nice. Another bookstore in El Salvador? Mm, Latinoamericana. El búho. Latinoamericana, El Búho, very good. What about a coffee shop? Starbucks. Starbucks, okay, very good. Okay, Starbucks, okay, good. Right, in a supermarket? Walmart, Selecto. Walmart, Selecto, Sprite Smart. Right? Those are supermarkets. Maxi Despensa. Okay, very good. So we understand the vocabulary and that's good. Right? I need you to understand the vocabulary. If you do it, perfect. Right? Okay. So let's continue here. Now we're going to keep on working with something else. Look at this, right? You have the places and you have the question. Yesterday you told me that at the drugstore, you can buy an aspirin, right? But what else can you do in those places, right? For example, you can get a magazine at a bookstore, not only books, right? You can send a package at the post office. Right? That's another example, right? Uh, what can you do at the bank? The question is the following. Look at the question. What can, oh, this color is bad. Okay. What can you do at the bank? What can you do at the bank? You can. What can you do? You can pay some service. You can pay some charges. Okay, very good. That's perfect. Right? And then we'll repeat the question, right? We'll repeat the question here for another place, right? What can you do at the supermarket? What can you do at the supermarket? You can plus the verb plus right the place. Okay, so what can you do at the supermarket? You can I can the buy. You can buy. Uh -huh. Um Vegetables. Okay, you can buy vegetables. Very good. You can buy vegetables. Or if Veg you want to make it shorter, right, you, you can say veggies. It's the same thing. Vegetables, veggies, it's the same thing. Right? Significa lo mismo. Así que vamos bien. Right? So at the supermarket, you can buy vegetables or you can buy veggies. Right? So we're making a question here. Right? We're giving a question and we're also giving an answer, right, for each of them. We have several phrases that we can practice right now. We just did four. One, two, three, and four, right? So what can be other examples? What other examples can be if we make this? We need to practice the places, right? What other places do you know? What what can you do at post office? What can you do at the post office? Okay, very good. Or you can also practice other places, for example, hospital, school, right? Hospital, school, a university, right? What can you do at uh, McDonald's, for example? That's a restaurant, right? Those are the places that we're going to practice. 
Now we're going to do that small review. We're going to use this structure that I just uh, show you here, right? With the question, I'm going to put the question here. And that's what we're going to ask, right? What can you do at and the place and the answers? Okay, give me a second. Okay, do we understand what we're gonna do? Entendemos que, que cómo vamos a practicar el vocabulario de ayer. Do we understand what we're going yes, to do? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, just one person. What about the others? No yet? Mm -hmm. Not yet, teacher. Yes. <laughs> uh, no, okay. not yet. Not yet, okay. Not yet, uh -huh. I'm okay. confused. Okay, you have the places, right? Let's do it again. We're going to use another place. Let me show you this, the PowerPoint again, okay? But we're going to use another place, right? Let's say the place is going to be, um, Let's say gas station, that's the place, okay? So with this place that we're going to use, we're going to make the question, right? So what can you do at the gas station? Right, what can you do at the gas station, Mario? Mm, you can. You can put put the gasoline. Okay, you can put gasoline in the car. Okay, or in the bus, in the coaster, whatever, in the motorcycle, right? Uh, you can okay. put gasoline in the car. Very good, Mario. Right, so we have one place. Let's put another place here. What would be another place? Um, let's see, a school. The park. Oh, the park, okay, very good. Very good, I like that, very good. So we're gonna copy the question, right? We copy the question, we put it here, and we say, what can you do at the park? What can you do at the park? The answer can be, you can, what can you do at the park, uh, Dennis? Think about the park right now. ¿Qué pueden hacer en el parque? What can you do? Running. You can run in the park. Very good. You can run in the park. Very good. You see? Right? So we have the place right here. We have the place here again, right? But we give an activity that we can do in that specific place, right? That's what we're doing right now. We're giving activities. Right? Is that clear now? Okay. Yes, teacher, yes? thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Yes. What about the others? ¿Qué hay de los demás? ¿Entendemos que vamos, cómo vamos a trabajar ahorita? Sí, no, yeah. maybe. Yes. yes. Okay, very yes. good. Very good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put these other examples there too. Because the more we have, the more we practice, right? Okay, let me send you here. You practice examples yesterday from the from uh, my computer, but in the picture that I send you, you have more examples. For example, you have bank, hospital, you have theater. You have butchers, airport, right? So you have more places right now. So what we're going to do is that we're going to practice as a whole group. I have 12 people. So we're going to practice in groups. So no, in, we're going to practice in pairs, right? So let's see here. Let's go ahead and work there. 
Si tienen alguna pregunta, siempre voy a pasar por cada uno de los grupos, ¿ok? I'll be there. Let's go. Let's go to the groups. Join the groups. Join the groups. Join the groups. Sonia. Jorge, Susan. Susan, please go to the group. Susan. All the teacher give us. Do you have a question? No, teacher. Are you no, sure? No, we are, we are going to start in this moment. Okay, perfect. Okay. Jorge, you, you, you want to start? Yes. Okay. What can you do at the cinema? Cinema. 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 Mm -hmm. Cinema, very good. Cinema or cinema. movie theater. Uh -huh. Or movie theater. Very good. Okay. You can see a movie. Yes, right? Yes. Wait. 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 You can see como ver. You can I can see. see. Cardiólogo, can see. ¿cómo se dice, teacher? You can see the cardiologist, the cardio. I can see you the cardiologist. You can see the doctor, mm -hmm. the cardio. Mm -hmm. You can see a doctor. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dennis, what can you do at fire station? <laughs> Fire station. Es como los bomberos, creo. Exactly. Very good. Very good. What mm. can you you uh, cine? ¿Cómo se dice? At mm -hmm. cine. ¿Cómo? At the cinema. At, ah. at the cinema. Okay. <laughs> Teacher. <laughs> 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 uh -huh. At the cinema. Okay. I can watch uh, my favorite movie and I can eat popcorns. Sweet popcorns. Okay. Oh, yes. Combine. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That's my favorite popcorns. Yes. <laughs> okay. Do you have questions, Claudia? William? No, teacher. No, no teacher. Great, great job. Okay, I see you in a minute, you. okay? You're welcome. <laughs> okay, Claudia, it's my turn. Okay. What What can you do at the... Yeah. Mm. What can you do at... What can you do at the, at the theater? At the theater? Uh, at I... the theater? Uh-huh. I can I can look a concert, como dice? A concert. A concert. Um, I can see a uh, obra de teatro, por ejemplo. Mm. Y no obra sé cómo, de teatro, no sé cómo se dice. No, Fisher, no, no, hi. Ni... Hi. <laughs> How do you say obra de arte? <laughs> you can see art. Art. Only art. art, yes. You can see, or it depends. Yeah, what can you see there? In the museum, in the museum. Uh, no, in theater. Oh, that's movie theater is like cinema, like Cinepolis. That's ah, movie okay. theater. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
<laughs> can look at movie. <laughs> yeah, okay. you can watch a movie. Uh -huh. Watch a movie. Watch a movie. Okay. Eh, yo no distingo bien la imagen. Es butchers es como una carnicería. Exactly. Okay. Um, uh, okay. What uh, can you do at um, airport? Um, do you have questions? Hi, teacher. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Mario. Hi. Questions? Where can you you do at in the gym? In the gym. Yes. You can do exercise in the gym. Very good. There is another way, Mario, that you can say that. For example, you can say you can work out at the gym. I'm gonna put it here on the on the chat. Can you see it? You can work out okay. at the gym. That's another way, another option, right? Very good. Okay. So let me go to another group. Do you have a question? Uh, what what can you do at the at uh, hotel? Hotel. Mm. You can you can at you can you can <laughs> you can sleep. Very good. You can sleep at the hotel. Right? Very good. Very continue, continue. I'll go with the last group. I can como se dice comprar. Buy. Buy. <laughs> I can buy a heat special. A carne. Meat meat special. Meat. Special, special meat. meat. Special, special meat. meat. Special Very meat. good. <laughs> okay. Hmm. What can you do at hospital? I I I can uh how do you say donar sangre? I can donate blood. Donate. I can donate. Donate blood. I'm gonna send you here in the chat, okay? Donate, donate, like that? Exactly. Like mm -hmm. yeah. Donate, donate blood. blood. Look at this. Blood. I can yeah. donate blood. It's I nice when you do blood. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, I, mm -hmm. I can see a doctor. You can see a doctor, very good. You can rest, but not rest in peace. Yeah, pero you can rest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> so just let me go to the last group and then we're done. Okay. Felix and Karen, okay, me falta one. See you in a minute, okay? See you, Tisha. Dice, Aquí que se dice lion, como L J I N G, lion. What is that? What do you want to say? Eh, ¿Cómo el, podemos el, decir de que nosotros vamos al parque a acostarnos, a recostarnos, en la, como en la grama? Ah, ok, very good. You can go and lie on the floor. Or yeah. you, or you can say you can I, go. Right? or I can lie. But let me see. Because, give me a second. On the on the grass. But let me see because here you're giving me the verb with ing.
de mi Lo está mandando por escrito. Yes, yes. But, ah, ok. Yeah. ¿Cuál grupo? Give me a second. <laughs> okay. You can lie on the grass. There you are. <laughs> okay. Do you have it there? Can you see the example? Other example. Mm -hmm. No, eh, can, bueno, you, can you see? Because what do you? Okay. Give me a second. Uh, I, I can ride a bike. Okay. You can ride a bike. Very, very good. You can ride a bike. This is what you want to do, right? Uh -huh. Okay. That's, look at this. Lie on the grass. Lie on the grass. Uh -huh. Lie on the grass, right? Lie on the grass. And lie. then, uh, lie on the grass. You can lie on the grass. But if you say, for example, I am lying on in the grass, that's you're going to write it different. Si lo está haciendo en este momento, tiene que escribirlo así como está aquí, mire. Acá, acá. Right? Pero si solo quiere decir, you can lie on the grass, lo usa acá, como este. Is that clear? Y la hay de mentir. Mm, that's an option. Yes, that's an option. That's okay. one option. Okay, very good. So let me go ahead and <clears throat> close this room because we're going back. Ya no vamos, vamos, no vamos, no vamos. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So tell me some examples that you wrote over there. Right, everyone, give me some examples. Right, because you work in pairs, so one person is going to read the question and another person is going to give the answer. Right, so let's listen a couple of you. Who wants to start? Uno de ustedes que lea la pregunta y el otro que lea la respuesta. De todos los ejemplos que tienen, choose one. Select one and then you give me the answer here. Okay, let's start. Nobody? Me? Okay, you, perfect. Let me see here. I'm going to share here the screen so we can see. It. Perfect. Go ahead. Uh-huh. You can you can you do at the airport? Okay, one person is going to ask the question. ¿Quién le va a preguntar? Son dos en el equipo. Uno pregunta y el otro responde. One asks the questions and the other one answers the question. ¿Quién trabaja con usted? Dennis. Okay, Dennis. Hello. Are hola, you hola. There? Hello. Okay, very good, Dennis. Dennis, can you please ask the questions to Clarissa so she can give the answers? Okay, dejemos los que se preparen. ¿Alguien más? En lo que se preparan ellos dos? Me. Okay, very good. Go ahead. ¿Quién trabaja con usted? Me. Susan, ok. Den, Dennis y Susan. No. Ok, hemos trabajado en parejas. Pongamos atención, por favor. Hemos trabajado en parejas. De todos los que han trabajado en parejas, vamos a trabajar cada una de las parejas. Por ejemplo... Uh, Mario trabajó con Susan, entonces Mario y Susan pueden participar. Uno va a leer la pregunta y el otro va a dar la respuesta, ¿ok? De lo que tienen un montón de preguntas y respuestas por el momento. 
Vamos a utilizar solo una. ¿Ok? So, let's okay. do one more time. ¿Quién va a participar? Who wants to participate? Me, Mario. Mario. Very good, Mario. Ok. Con Sonia estuve. Con Sonia. Ok, very good. Mario, tell us the question. Uh, what can you do at the, at the airport? Sonia, what's the answer? You can... You can is no. You can add vuelo. Disculpe, ¿cómo se dice? Flight. Flight. Mm -hmm. You can flight. You can fly. Okay. Flight. Vuelo o volar. Vuelo. <laughs> vuelo okay. is different. Okay. No sería. You can take a flight. You can take a okay. flight. Very good. Look at the difference, right? Volar is fly. Vuelo, Vuelo. is flight. Vuelo. Look at the difference. Right. Okay, you can take a flight. Very good. Right. Very good. Another group. Me? And, okay, very good, Claudia. William. Okay, good. Yes. Okay. Uh, what do we ask the beach? You can, you can watch or see, teacher, see the sunset. You can see the sunset, very good. Okay, you can see the sunset. Mm -hmm. Very good, that's a nice example. You can see the sunset, very good. Another example, one more. Another group. Me. Okay, Josue? With Susana. Okay, with Susana. Okay, go ahead. Okay. What can what can you do at the park? At the park. At the park. Okay. Okay, you can go in light. On the grass. You can go and lie on the grass. Very good. Like you're very nice like that. Right? Very nice. So you see here, we're telling, we're using the vocabulary for places and we're telling activities that we can do on those places too. Right? So is this sure. part clear? Yes? Will it? What does it mean lie? Lie on the grass is mm -hmm. like this let me show you here on, on my computer da, da, da. mentirle this... al vaso <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay. this is lie on the grass uh, lie on the grass like a veces a van a ver... exactly okay. sometimes lie means mentir but that's another thing uh-huh that's another meaning. Remember what I said. Not all the words have the same meaning. It depends on the scenario. Depende del contexto. Yeah. Yes, it va a significar la palabra. So, lie okay. on the grass means this, right? Okay. You see, very Thank nice. You, right? You're welcome. Yes. Very good. So, do you have a question about places right now? Tienen preguntas? Questions about places? Vocabulary? No, no, teacher. No. no, okay, are you sure? Yes. Okay, very good. So let's go ahead and practice here. We're gonna do something else. And we're going to move to another topic, another objective that I want to practice today. We're not going to finish this today, but you're going to do a lot of practice. Uh, let's see here, Claudia, can you read these lesson objectives? By the end of this class, by the end of this class, you will learn preposition, preposition of play uh -huh. in order to give direction, additional 
you will practice a conversation which illustrates how he's stopping use in a real life setting. Very good. Right. So at the end, what we're going to do is that we're going to, uh, vamos a aprender preposiciones del lugar para dar direcciones. Además, ustedes practicarán una conversación que ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un entorno de la vida real. Right? So, we're going to practice with this. These are the prepositions of place. Right? So for that, I need you to go ahead and watch a video. Right, that's what we're gonna do today. Because I see that not all of you have finished the video, so we're gonna do it here. Right, we have a video about prepositions of place. Do you have your notebooks and pens ready? Notebooks and pens? Yes. Okay, okay very good. Yes. yes, I need you to look at the video, but also I need you to pay attention to the prepositions because that's what we're gonna be using. Eso es lo que más vamos a utilizar. Recuerden que tenemos el video y a la par tenemos los subtítulos, right? So in case that we don't understand the video, we look at the subtitles, right? That's because we are beginners. Later on, you are not going to need them, right? So let's put mute on our, on our phones right now. Díganme también si escuchan. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn. Do you listen to that? Yes. 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 Okay. Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. So let's go ahead and watch right now. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from, next to, between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. 
the US Post Office. The US Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the... Okay, very good. So we'll watch the video about the prepositions and how to use them, right? So what we have there, right, is that we're going to practice these prepositions that we have on the, on the screen, right? And I need you to pay attention to something before we start because we're going to do a small practice, right? Can you see the, the computer? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. Very good. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to select something here. I'm going to do it with this pink, right? So what do we have on pink? We have the preposition on, right? So on the picture that we have here, right? We can see the, you know, the, the like the, the, the cross that we have, right? So this cross here is telling you the meaning of the preposition. So this is on, right? That's why it says, the department store is on Main Street, right? It's on Main Street. But also, you can say, right, if something is in this position, like this, right? You know, when, when you're like this, right? That will be on the corner of. That's another preposition, right? Then we also have the preposition across from. Look at is 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 pretty much like making this movement, right? That will be across from, right? And then we have next to, right? Look at the place. It's like this. That will be next to. We have one place here, and another place over here, right? And then we have between, and look at here, this selection, right? So I need you to understand what we're doing here because prepositions in the United States are very important to speak English, right? In the United States, they will ask you, hey, Mario, where is the bank, right? And Mario will say, the bank is on the corner of Main Street, for example, right? You're giving directions. It's not like in El Salvador. They, in, in El Salvador, we do not give directions, right? In El Salvador, no damos direcciones. It's not true, right? We don't give directions in El Salvador. We just say, this uh, is located in this other place, right? Solo decimos, está la par de tal parte, la par de un poste, la par de un chucho. Right? That's what we say in El Salvador. So, for this, I know prepositions are difficult, so I'm going to show you more. Hoy le voy a quitar un poquito yo de tiempo a ustedes. Voy a hablar un poquito más yo, porque necesito que veamos el ejemplo. These are more prepositions, but these are prepositions of place that are going to help us. We have... No se ve en la pantalla, teacher. No se ve. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Así me gusta, rapidito. So... Can you say now? Yes? 
Okay. Yes. Okay. So these propositions are in the video. Remember, right? These are from the video. But there are more, more, more propositions. I'm going to show you some more propositions of place. Right? We have number one is on. Number two, between. Right? But look at the ball. I want you to look at this. The football. The football, right? The football ball. That's what I want you to watch, right? So we have on, between, behind, in front of, under, next to, in, or near, right? So we can ask the question, very simple. Where is the ball? And the answer is going to be very simple as well, right? Look at this. And we are going to say it's on the box, right? It's on the box. Or the ball is on the box, right? Is that clear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Very good. Then we go with number two. Well, no, the second question, not number two. Look at this. Where is the ball? Number seven. What do you think the answer is? What is the answer? In the box. It's on. It's in the box. In the box. It's between. No, it's in the in box. In the box. Look at the arrow. Look at the arrow. Ah, you see? Ah, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Pay attention to the picture. Right? Look at this. Where is the ball? It's next, it's to, next to, to the box. box. It's next to the box. Very good. Very good. Next question. Where is the ball? It's in front of it's in front of box. the box. It's in front of the box. Very good. Let's continue. Where is the ball? It's between, it's between, the, between the box and the box and the toy. No. Yes. Yes. Very good. And and bird. Bird. <laughs> okay, very good. In this in this case, we have three three so, different things. For example, I have this. Can you see my, my cup? Yes. This is my mug. Can you see it? No. No, okay. No. Okay, I have my mug. Okay. I have my bottle of water, right? So I have this and I have well, my cell phone, right? So we can say, where is Sylvia's cell phone? Oh, it's between the bottle and the mug, right? So it's right here in this position, right? That's that's what it means, right? It's exactly in this position, right? So we need to make sure of that, right? Okay, very good. Let's continue. Where is the ball? Let's see here. Let's see, number five. Where is the ball? It's under, it's under the box. The box. It's under the box. Okay, very good. Let's continue there. Where is the ball? It's near of the box. It's near, near the, the box. box. Near the box. Ah, near the box. Near the box. Usually, this, this happens a lot. Usually, we put more words because in Spanish, it's most, ¿Dónde está? Eh, ¿Dónde está Walmart? Está cerca de, right? So near means cerca, right? Mm -hmm. Cerca de. But in, in English, we don't need another preposition. Solo near, solo la palabra near significa cerca de, right? It's near the box. Mm -hmm. It's near the box. Very good. Very good. Right? And the last one. Where is the ball? It's behind the box. Okay. So I can say the closet is behind me right you see i have a closet there right the closet is behind me 
right? So, do we understand prepositions? Entendemos yes. las preposiciones? Yes. yes, are we sure? Yes. Yes, okay. teacher. Perfect. If you see, we have more prepositions. We don't have just one preposition here. Mm -mm. In English, we have oof, a lot, right? So I'm going to send you these other ones just for you to pay attention to them. Can you see them? Yes? Yes. Okay. And in the video, let's see here. Look at these other ones, right? We have more. These are prepositions too, right? Okay. These are prepositions too that we need to practice. Pero no nos vamos a aprender todos al mismo tiempo. Entonces, solo vamos a tener para, por si necesitamos más vocabulario. Recordemos que estas, la pelotita roja o las pelotitas rojas nos están diciendo qué significa, ¿verdad? Right? Por la posición. Eso es lo que queremos saber. Las rojas son las que nos dicen la posición. Por ejemplo, if we go with round, right? Where is the ball? It's round the other balls right so uh, we need round. to pay around or round very good um, so two options very good and we have teacher? yes it's the same oh, okay. it's the same it's the same very good and then we have other examples here right i need you to tell me this one can you see uh, let's see here let's start with claudia look at the dog here yeah. The dog um, is? is in. Very good. Is in the box. Very good. Very good. Let's see the next one. We need three words. We have on, from, behind, under, of, and in. The dog is? Front. front front okay in front of the table in front of the table very good in front of the table very good next next one look at the dog the dog is under the table is under the table wonderful next time the dog is next Next, next to the, the table. table. Next to the table. Very good. Next one. The dog the is on the, 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 the table. The table. Nice. And let's see. The dog, the dog is, dog is behind, behind, behind of the table. Behind. The table. Behind. The table. Behind, the table. behind table. Behind table. Behind the table. Okay. Very good. And no, we're not doing this. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wow. Namaste, Rita. Okay, good. We're going to do another oh, one. Oh, my room. <laughs> we're going, I need to see. Oh, ya son las diez, no lo creo. What? Okay. I need you to take a look at this. I'm going to practice the conversation. Yes, you need to practice the conversations. So take a look at this. We're going to, to practice here also. Right now we don't have more time, but I need you to look at this, right? We have some examples. It says, look at the map on the next slide. Complete the sentences with the propositions in the box, right? So we have the, the map. This is the map, right? And this is, these are the sentences that you're going to complete. So I'm going to send you right now from my cell phone the pictures that you are going to use. And what we are going to do is the following. Give me a second. Okay, good, good, good. Done, done. You're going to receive four pictures right now, right? So with the pictures that you're going to receive, look at this. It says, number one, the coffee shop is on second avenue right write it down it's the shoe store right so what we're going to do in the map is that we're going to use here and we're going to look for the coffee shop 
Can you see the coffee shop here? Where is the coffee shop? I'm um, one the wild ahorita. Okay. No, is no, this no. the coffee shop? All right. Yes. No. No. This is this. the coffee shop? No. Yes. No. No. Oh. That's the movie theater. <laughs> That's the movie theater. This is the post office. Next no. to the bank. Next to the bank. No, that's Maria's restaurant. That's not the coffee shop. No, no se ve bien. Oh, uh, it's, it's next to from, uh, the shoes. The movie theater. No sé. It's on the second avenue. It's on the second. I don't know. It's on Second Avenue. Very good. Look at Second Avenue. We're looking for this, right? On your cell phones, I sent you the picture, right? Can you see the pictures on your cell phone? Right? Yeah. Okay. Very good. So you have, give me a second. Yes. You have the map. You have the map, the same map. You have the map on your cell phone. What we're doing is that we're going to use these, these prepositions, right? And we're going to use this. But on the first example, it says the coffee shop is on Second Avenue. So what we're going to do on the picture is that we're going to look for Second Avenue, right? No, but no necesitamos ir a otro lugar más que a la, seco, a la segunda avenida, Second Avenue. And then in that place, we're going to look for the coffee shop, right? And then we have the coffee shop here. Can you see it? I yes. oh. oh, okay, very good. And then it says, because it continues, it's the shoe store. And then we're going to look for the shoe store. What is the shoe store? It's next to the shoe store. Okay, very good. So it's next to the shoe store. Very good. That's the answer. Very good, right? So that's, that's what we need to do. Let's do number two. On your cell phones, let's read. It says the movie theater is Park in Maine. Okay, where is Park in Maine? The movie theater is Park in Maine. Is on the corner of Park and Maine. Very good, very good. We can say that it's on the corner of Park in Maine, but we're going to pay attention to this, right? Because in this picture, that's what, that's what the video is telling us, right? That's what the video is telling us, to look for the exits, right? So it's on the, we can say it's on the corner of Park in Maine. And then what else it says? It's the park, it says. It's the park. What can we say here? Because this is the park, right? It's it's across. it's across from the park. Across from, very good, because it's like this. Right? It's across from the park, right? So that's what we need to do to read this type of directions. They look simple, but they are a little bit difficult, right? They are a little bit difficult. So that's what we need to do, right? Is that clear? Yes? Yes. No? Yes. 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 Okay, very good. So I already sent you, right? Because I, I, I have here more examples that I want to do with you, right? Ooh, a lot, right? But we don't have like much time. This is another one. Look at this is another one that I want to do with you, but we don't have much time, right? Así que este se lo voy a enviar mañana con este video de YouTube que les tenía listo, pero ya no nos alcanzó el tiempo, right? So we need to practice. Right, the prepositions, they are not easy, but on Monday, this is going to be homework. Va a ser tarea para que la trabajen. El mapa y que completen las oraciones que ya les, que les acabo de dar. Is that clear? Yes, yes. 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 Ya yes, aburre con tarea más. <laughs> okay, now that's, that's what we're going to do, right? I need you to practice, so I'm going to ask you on Monday. Uh, Mario, where is the hotel? Uh, Clarissa, where is the post office? And you're going to tell me based on the map, right? Just uh, by con base en el mapa que ya les envié a su WhatsApp. Así es como lo voy a preguntar. 
Y la respuesta okay. va a ser una respuesta okay. completa. ¿Está claro? Está claro. Ok, very good, very good. Do you have any questions for today's class? No, no teacher. No, no, teacher. No? Are you sure? No. Yes. 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 Okay, guys. So it's it's been a pleasure. Please practice the prepositions. Please finish the work on the platform, right? So we can practice more. Right? Y dejaron la explicación casi fue en inglés. Quiere decir que vamos mejorando porque casi todo lo entendían. Right? Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Right? Very good. That was Thank good. You. Cuenta se dieron. Okay. Very good. Have a beautiful night, people. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, guys. Vayan a dormirse. <laughs> Ha, <laughs>